What's up, spectators? Welcome back to case two of Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth 2, Prosecutor's Bad Beta, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, now we're starting in prison turnabout. Let's go. I was thinking if I should do some sort of recap for the last one, but that's unnecessary. You again? A bell inside of a prison? Very ghost trick. <gasps> the Hound! For a second, I was wondering why he was in prison, and then, of course, obviously, he went to prison because of what happened last time. I'm stupid. Okay, let's go. He's not coming. He's not coming, sir. How long does he intend to keep us waiting? Now, 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 Mr. Edgeworth, there's no need to get your cravat in a twist. Ethan Rook's murder. Two days after the incident, we visited the detention center. Naturally, we were hoping to meet with the defendant, Horace Knightley. His trial was set to begin the next day, with me serving as the prosecutor. Still, he is rather dead. You there! Do you know what's going on? It is certainly strange. I'll try calling him one more time. It's terrible! It's Knightley. He's been murdered. What did you say? Murdered inside the detention center. Mr. Edgeworth, let's go check it out. You there, take us to the crime scene post haste. Oh, it's so cool getting to see the inside of the detention center. I'm trying to see if I can recognize the faces on the top right in those little tiny portraits, but I can't really. I can see one has a glorious mustache, but that's about it. Knightley's not in his cell? I thought he was being held there. What are you doing? This way! Where are you taking us, pal? This door is the... It's the prison. Prison? Then what were the small rooms back there? Holding cells? Those cells we just passed are part of the detention center. They're used for holding suspects temporarily, while they await their trial. What lies ahead? is a facility that serves a completely different purpose. This is where criminals who have been declared guilty serve out their sentence, pal. It's the one place a great thief does not want to end up, Kay. I'm opening the door now! Please follow me! Oh, I want to recognize somebody really bad! It's a slave camp! There's no mistaking it. Knightley's dead. Moreover, he was murdered inside the prison walls. How exactly did this happen? How exactly did a murder happen inside a prison? Shut up, Edgeworth. You know nothing. I can't believe something like this would happen to Mr. Knightley. Yes, I can't believe it either. But the scene you see before you is the unmistakable reality. Besides, wasn't Mr. Knightley supposed to be in the detention center? Indeed, he was. Knightley hadn't his uh, had his trial yet. Before a suspect is found guilty, they're detained in the detention center's holding cells. They only enter the prison after they have received a guilty verdict. Knightley should not have been moved in here. Do you think he passed through those giant doors that we went through earlier, sir? Huge metal doors and a long passageway separate the prison and the detention center. Let me see here. Prison, detention. Well, uh, he obviously went through the offices. A day, right? As a suspect, Knightley wouldn't have been able to pass through. 
What happened to Knightley? In order to solve this mystery, we must first investigate the crime scene. Before the police even arrive. Well, I guess he's technically police, but he's like a security guard. He's like a prison guard, which is different from the police. But it, we're in the police detention center building, which also has courthouses. They really streamlined the process. It's like, guilty! And they should just have a trapdoor that drops you into this workroom where you work till you die. Is what they're doing. How do you move around again? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, I don't want to talk to you. Arrow keys. Oh, okay, right, right, right. Horace Knightley. Murdered right before his trial. Let me take a closer look. What's this? Mr. Edgeworth has something similar in his office. It's a portable chessboard. It was probably the victim's. Ah! Mr. Knightley enjoyed chess, right? He was probably using it to pass time in the detention center. A folding chessboard. Pieces are stored inside. Thought to have belonged to the victim. Open it! Fine. I bet there's something important inside. This is a rubber glove. There's no mistake, it's a rubber glove! How come there's only one? Let me take a closer look. Cavity search gone wrong. It's covered in mud, up to the wrist. <laughs> if you say so, maybe someone was playing with mud in the prison. I want to get in on the action too! Do it on your own time, or we're not investigating a case. Hold on, I, I also want, want to read the hand part for inmate use. You're damn right it's for inmate use. The fingers of the glove are covered in blood. This glove was dropped after the pool of blood formed. This glove was dropped after- okay, yeah. Why is that? If it was on the floor before the pool of blood had formed, the blood would have formed an outline around the glove. Ah, I see. The blood would have only gotten on the edges of the glove. This glove was discarded after it was covered in blood. That must mean the killer left it behind. Indeed, it's highly probable. At the very least, the person who dropped this saw the body. You there! What is it, sir? Do you recognize this glove? Yes, sir, the inmates use these for cavity searches. That's odd. Rubber gloves are usually kept in the inmates' rooms. They are strictly regulated, so you can't just take them out. There are no signs of any other rubber gloves in the room. Single glove left behind, used for prison labor, covered in blood and mud. Bud. It's covered in bud. Get it? Blood and mud? Or blood. At least someone covered him so he wouldn't be cold while he slept forever. He's covered with a dirty sheet. There's a rope on top of the sheet. Was nightly tied up with this rope? Let's take a look under the sheet. We might be able to find something. Yikes, this sheet is bright red. These appear to be blood stains. Blood stains appear to belong to the victim who has the colorful pattern. Okay. But why down below? We still might be able to find something. Let's search this area a little more closely. Well, yeah, we haven't checked the cause of death yet. We don't know what that is. The blood from his neck has stained his brace bright red. The cause of death was most likely from his neck wound. He probably died instantly. He couldn't even cry out in pain. There are small bumps on his head. Are these bruises? Maybe after he was stabbed in the neck, he fell back and hit his head? I wonder. At this point in time, there are too many unknowns. Okay, do you have your digital camera with you? I'd like the detective to take a photo of the body. Would you let him borrow it? Sure thing. Here, gummy. Thanks, pal. All right, I'm taking the picture, sir. Still, he's wearing some awfully dirty clothes. There appears to be dirt stains in several places. Mm-hmm. Okay, dirt, bruises, got it. He's wearing those clothes even though they're dirty. He's just like me, sir. Detective, I hope you realize that not everyone shares your lack of hygiene. What else is there? There's something on his finger. 
Let's have a closer look. Oh, it looks like an expensive ring. Don't steal it. What? I didn't do anything yet. Oh, what? Oh, no. Yeah, what? What are, what, are, what are we supposed to do now? I might be done. I feel like I've examined everything. I guess there is the fact that his right sleeve is unbuttoned, but his left sleeve, left sleeve is still buttoned. And we still haven't examined the blood. Okay, so there are a couple more things we can probably do. Okay, or you're just gonna, just gonna do that again. Okay, not even gonna acknowledge it. The sheet is, oh, we've already read this too. Huh. I feel like we've examined everything already. I guess we'll back out of here? Okay, what do we, ah, there's, oh, oh, hold on. Well, there is this little plot of land which looks muddy. This section of the room is covered in dirt. The dirt is soft and has footprints on it, sir. There are too many footprints. It won't be easy to identify them all. Until the forensics arrive, we probably shouldn't tamper with this area. Detective, please don't trip and fall in the dirt. I'll be careful, sir. I don't want to get my favorite coat dirty. I'm more worried that you'll mess up the footprints. Yeah, remember that one episode in that one Ace Attorney game when you see uh, Gumshoe with his tan colored coat and you wonder why it's a dark olive green now? It's because that's an accumulation of dirt. I, there's no science behind that, but that's what I believe. There are a bunch of strange tools here. I don't see anything out of place. I'm kind of picking up the scent of animals. Do you have special smelling abilities or something? No, it's just a feeling, but I can smell the scent of treasure. Remind me to lock up all my valuables in a safe. Come on, Mr. Edgeworth, I would steal your valuables. So you would steal someone else's valuables. So we're not gonna look at these little... Whoa, what was that? No, no logic. There's a wash basin over here. Are there any clues that could be useful? I don't smell any signs of treasure. I'm searching for clues here, not treasure. Running out of options. Well, there's a sheet and a whip. In this lovely torture chamber. We won't rest until we've stolen... What? <laughs> until we've stolen every suspicious looking nook and granny. Indeed. This is quite a large area to investigate. Press the Y button to switch screens. I won't rest. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm, it's a pulley. Is that used for prison labor too? It looks like it. There's something I want to ask you. Don't even think about dangling on the hook. How did you know that's what I wanted to do? Somehow I had a feeling. Oh, nope, no, nope, 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 nope. That happens a lot. It's a cage inside the cage that is the prison. It's like cageception. Did they really just say that? Did they really just say that? I believe the correct term is prison cell. They're the same thing. You need to look more at the essence of things. Actually, it's more important to get the correct information. I mean, if you're gonna translate this game and you're doing it out of, you know, the goodwill, the good of your heart, you need to find a better way to say that. But if you're volunteering your time to fan sub this game, then yeah, you can have some fun with it. You should. There was a rope near the body as well. By the way, my special talent. If it's about rope escapes, there's no need for that now. Oh. Does she want to show it off that badly? Those are some colorful sheets. Very colorful and stands out in the room. What are they used for? They're the most eye-catching thing in this room. 
You don't fit in with the prison. There's a whip placed on top of the sheets. It reminds me of the whip lady. Maybe she left her whip here? Hmm, I doubt she'd ever leave her whip behind. What else should I be looking at? That could be it. Yeah. Alright, that's, that's... Hold on, let's look at the logic. Maybe we can put them together? Yep, yes we can. Bob the Builder. The sheets stacked here have a very distinctive pattern. It's the same as the bloodstained sheet. That's right. K. Don't steal my lines. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, you shouldn't get caught off guard like that. I'll never lose my edge as the great thief. I'll never lose my Edgeworth as the great thief. I thought she was on a hiatus. Found near the body, stack of them inside, very colorful. Well, we've collected quite a bit of evidence. Hee-hee! <laughs> With the three of us here, it's a piece of cake, right, Gummy? That's right, pal. We're the Invincible Trio. It's too early to start celebrating. There's still something we haven't found yet. The murderer? What haven't we found yet, sir? We haven't found 90% of the stuff. What is missing from this crime scene? The murder weapon, yes. The murder weapon that took the victim's life has not been found yet. Now that you mention it, you're absolutely right. Detective, get your act together. Isn't that the most basic of the basics? I'm sorry, sir. I've only been doing this for like two decades. Actually, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember how long Gumshoe's been doing this. Don't worry about it, Gummy. I didn't notice it either. That's not much of a consolation. In this prison, dangerous objects that could be used as weapons are strictly regulated. It'd be quite dangerous if the inmates got their hands on them. Obtaining a murder weapon and carrying it around is not an easy task. I see, you have a point. What was the murder weapon and where did it go? That could be the key to solving this case. There are visitors here already? Sorry to barge in like this. Is this the crime scene? You're... Huh? You. Aren't you? That piercing gaze. That furrowed brow. It's been a long time. Mr. Shields? Judging by his name, he's a detective? Yes, yes. That frilly... Ray. Ray Shields? That frilly thing around your neck and that stiff greeting, there's no doubt about it. Prosecutor Manfred Von Karma, fancy meeting you here. What are you saying, pal? Mr. Edgeworth's not that old man. Detective, it's fine. Oh, it's you, Prosecutor Edgeworth. I thought you looked a bit young. Hehe, <laughs> you two are so similar. Looks like your Uncle Ray got you two mixed up again. You never change. How many years has it been since we last saw each other? I have already forgotten. Your Uncle Ray's been overseas these past few years. But you know, there's something I still haven't forgotten. About you. And your betrayer. He looks kind of like a journalist, but he's probably a detective. There's no way he's a journalist. He's definitely a detective. I'm getting some bad juju over here. You know this guy, Mr. Edgeworth? Allow me to introduce him to you. Raymond Shields, attorney at law. Oh, he's a lawyer! Wow, that wasn't even... I saw the notepad and the hat and the sort of jazzy music playing. I was like, detective. Wrong. He's giving me a lot of air quotes here, but he's not- they're not quoting anything. That's bugging me a little bit. Ace Attorney Ray Shields, at your service. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Oh, you just wait. Now there's gonna be a spin-off of a spin-off. It's gonna be Ace Attorney Raymond Shields in his own game. I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, sir. Kay Faraday, nice to meet ya. I'm a great thief! But I'm currently on hiatus. Great thief? Well, well, that sounds romantic. 
How wonderful. Oh, Mr. Shields, you get it, right? I'm currently recruiting new members. The registration forms are easy to fill out. That's splendid. Uncle Ray would love to join your little gang. Sorry, but we're only accepting bright, cheerful, and energetic girls. Ah, like a femme fatale squad. I see, that's too bad. Well, how about a hug then, as a sign of affection? No. I guess not. This isn't Europe after all. Mr. Shields, what are you doing here? Oh, that's right, sorry. Preventing the attorney from investigating the crime scene is the Von Karma way, isn't it? Hey, you've been going on about Von Karma this and Von Karma that. What's your problem, pal? Detective, restrain yourself. This can't be helped. Eh? Mr. Shields, are you the defense attorney for Horace Knightley? That's right, or should I say, I was his defense attorney. Mr. Shields is the defense attorney. If Knightley had not been murdered, I would have been going up against him in court. I should listen to what he has to say. Okay, let's talk to him then. Or we'll end this video because it's already been 21 and a half minutes. So stay tuned for the next one. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.